Hey, love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being able to, you know, uh, get me you know a lot of people don't really get me but it, it's just a beautiful thing to know that on my journey i'm you know meeting and gravitating towards a lot of people that are gravitating towards me and it's truly a blessing that we can all have some a little things in common to keep, keep us connected so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are comfortable now please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video you're just up to me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hey you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, especially if they're dealing with, you know, um, spiritual confusion or, you know, um, like trying to find their soul purpose or even their path. Please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. And today, this music, all of a sudden up here, like almost in a trance listening to it, is so beautiful. It's called uh, Hang Drum Plus Water Drum Yoga. Music, 432 hertz, positive energy uh, music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about um, Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, dealing with karmatic cycles that uh, cause depression try to stay focused on your mission of cutting cords you have to it's just like you know finding out things to get you where you're at is always devastating you know i've heard so many people are going through stuff like you know things are coming back up after they do therapy which i've had that happen before that that, that can really put you in a place <laughs> so uh you know finding out things in therapy either you're losing a loved one or you know you're on the verge of going homeless or you know just very tragic things to just constantly keep popping up in your life and you're just like you know why do i have to go through this and it's just like when those veils come off of us from being walking around ignorant blind in our own truth um and it's not saying that you're stupid but it's just ignorance is you not knowing who truly are you know you've been having hints here you know things are kind of thrown at you because when you're in that sleep state and you all of a sudden that's just like you giving birth to yourself all over again you know how they get when they just start popping out the womb and they I know with my kids <laughs> oh, they were flying all out with like legs and stuff around like oh my god where am i at you know just screaming and scaring them to death so it, it's just like doing all that, it was, you know, this, it's very traumatizing and it can really put you in a dark place. But we cannot allow devil or the darkness or the things that brought us there in the first place um, put us in that spot of depression, anxiety, being in that dark place. Is like I told y'all before, it's only distractions that we that tend to make us lose focus. I mean, I've, I've done it. You know, there's times I can be thinking about something positive and it'll be a one word or a certain situation or trigger up something, you know, negative. And it was like I seen this post yesterday. And it's like usually if you, you feel a negative situation come up, think of three positive ones to flip it over. You know, you have to be able to, you know, trick your mind into you know because it's just like if you've been in a lot of uh you've been carrying around a lot of suppression a lot of pain which i've done before as well uh all of a sudden these things start coming up because you've been suppressing for suppressing for uh, suppressing them for so long um you have to be able to think about you know some happy things even if you have to think about something you're focusing on getting to you have to really do that because you can't lose focus on why you're here you know um what your your duty is what your gift is what you know what is your plans to be paying tribute to the earth on how to heal people bring more love into the world but we like i said before if we want these things 
things in the world. You know, we hate watching the news or hearing on the radio, you know, they're having a mass shooting or there's a genocide, basically like a new genocide going on or, you know, a cop done killed somebody or there's animal cruelty. You know, all these things bring up a lot of bad energy towards us. You know, like a lot of us, you know, I hear a lot of y'all, y'all like me, I don't read newspapers. And people are like, you going to miss out on what's going on in the world. Trust me. I got my own empath antennas. If there's something going on, trust me. Universal let us know before y'all will know. <laughs> so I'm just like, I can't, uh-uh. You know, it's hard for me to do that. So what happened, you know, if I don't see it on YouTube, because like I tell y'all, there's like two two or three shows I watch, and it's like Sunday, Monday, and that's it. My other show just went off on Wednesday, so I don't be watching TV on Wednesday. It's just on Sunday and Monday, and the rest of the time it's on YouTube. So I don't watch TV. So it's just like going through all these different things, you know, um, going through your spiritual awakening. It, it's, it's like really tragic, you know, and you already got to work on yourself just with that because it's just like basically it's like you're waking up and feeling like life has always been a lie <laughs> that's what it's like life has always been a lie like is this really what's going on y'all done trick me they done bamboozled you that's what they did and that's what it's just like going through those things it can really put you in a state of shock because it's like every, you have to relearn everything all over again and that's basically what it is you have to relearn everything all over again so you have to make sure you can divert yourself away of not getting into depression because it's like we feel it worse than anybody because it's like we're feeling everything it's like when you can tell somebody i'm feeling everything you're feeling everything and they're like they might think that you're crazy but you're not it's just because you're highly sensitive you know you're like your own magnetic field you have things gravitating you from this way this way and sometimes if you know if you're not sure how to protect yourself you don't understand why your emotions are tricking you like this it's like oh i was happy just a few minutes ago now i'm irritated and crying and trying to figure out stuff that's going on and you're picking up on somebody else's issues because of something they're thinking about you have to be able to learn how to protect yourself you know, I always tell people, I take all armor of God when I know I got to go somewhere. Because it's just like on Friday, my anxiety's up. My daughter graduates, you know. And it's like since the spiritual awakening, I've not been in uh, like a whole big group of people like that since, but shoot, shoot, like 2000, 2016 is the last time I did that. And that was when my, my middle daughter graduated. They're all three years apart. So it's just like going through all those different things. It, I mean, it, you know, my anxiety is like straight through the roof. But I already know when I had to go to that meeting the other day, I was congratulating myself because it was just like, you know, my ex had to go and do these things for my daughter, sign all this paperwork and stuff for her to be able to graduate. And he was like, you know what? You didn't freak out this time. I said, no, nah, I'm good. You know, and I'm thinking in the back of my head, heck yeah, I don't pray. <laughs> <laughs> Put that force field up because it's like a lot of parents mad. They just got off of work. They ain't even trying to listen to you. They ain't trying to even listen to themselves. They ready to shut everything off. So it was just a lot of, I felt it. And I'm like, ah, block, block. I ain't going to deal with it. Just block. You know, just had to deal with all those different things. And it was just like really crazy. But when you're going through these things, you have to really remain focused. You you know what you're trying to aim for. You know the things that you want better in your life. And so it's like anytime a negative sense wants to come up and want, you have to be able to let it come up. Just like it's like a burp. You're trying not to allow that burp to come out. Just say excuse me because you've just got to let that one out. You can't take it and push it back because it's like if you're trying to fake to be happy or, you know, acting like everything is positive around you without expressing your feelings, without seeing what is trying to to come out to allow you to to heal where you really need to heal. You have to be able to let yourself uh, do what you need to do to get yourself past that. You know, it's just a lot of things that, you know, we experience in life. And it's like we, we have to go through this to get to it. And yeah, it can be depressing. Yeah, it can be very distracting. You know, going through things and it's like life as you know it is like not like how it used to be because it's like you're learning everything new for all over again. So allow yourself to, you know, do anything that you can to raise your frequency up in so many different ways. Um, being able to do that 
you know you know the things that uplift you you know the things that make you happy because right now you're on a mission you know that you're trying to correct your life you know there's a lot of things that you need to heal from a lot of things you need to let go of and i have to have this pet talk with myself every single day you know i'm not fully healed either so i'm right on this road with y'all so it's just like more better things you know yes when negative past trauma comes back up that triggers you about a certain incident that really puts you in a a tight spot or you know made you pissed or made you sad or upset make sure you can think about oh i remember when me and my friends we went to the bowling alley or i just remember when we had this big cake party you know just even if you gotta sit up here and make up a fake memory just for that to get <laughs> go over or you know it was like earlier today when i felt like something triggered i made sure i put pharrell happy on because i don't know what it is about that song but i guess it's just the word happy it just really uplifts you you know that's in my um my intro song because it, it just really makes me happy to want to jump around so i was just like yeah that was the best song he could came out with but <laughs> but yeah we really truly need to learn um how to stay focused you know, yes, things have happened in our lives that, you know, can really upset us in so many different ways. And being able to deal with that, it can be it can be really emotionally draining to go through stuff like that. But you have to remember what's more important. You letting go of these situations so you can move on because you deserve true happiness. And focus on trying to get where you're trying to achieve or you want to stay wallowing around in this dark spot thinking about memories that you can no longer change hopefully you're not even still dealing with the people that has caused those things and are not in your life so it's just like why you keep doing on things that are uh you don't let go of people and i had to tell myself that too it's like yeah these things piss you off and you know hurt you a lot but if you allow you distance yourself and you block yourself from these people in your life don't worry about that. Just pray for them. You see how the laws of attraction work for you. So you keep doing what you need to do. Go ahead. I don't know why. I just did this last time I did my video. And all of a sudden my music went cut off. But I mean my my, my meditation music cut off. But I know my energy is really crazy. Because as soon as I did that. Next thing you know things stopped. And now I'm still <laughs> buffering. So I don't know what I did. But you know I hope this is able to reckon, uh, recognize. I hate it when I do that resonate with someone you know if you're looking for that sign that is telling you do not lose so focus and as soon as i said that my light dimmed do not lose focus on the things that you truly want in your life you are going to heal you have to tell yourself this you will heal you will let go of things that are no longer sh sh uh serving you you will shed so many negative faucets to where you're beaming out positive love for yourself and as well as for others um and you will you will get the prize that you have been working so hard for and it's going to be when you least expect it so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and my post notification is wisdom alafia i hope i print uh, Alafia, I hope I pronounced your name right. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Like I said, go ahead and drop a line. And, um, oh, let me, uh, pop bump, <laughs> pop bump, uh, brother, uh, relax. Much love to you as well. And thank y'all for stopping by the channel. Y'all are truly loved, uh, inside and out. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Peace.